G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean. Uh, if you're new here and you're wondering what I talk about, I talk about tech, I do tutorials, I do unboxings, reviews, gaming, streaming, everything technology really that's interesting to me. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about a product that Intel has sent over to me that I'm quite excited about. Um, this is the Nook from Intel. This is the Hades Canyon Nook. Um, if you're not sure about what a Nook is or what it stands for, Nook stands for Next Unit of Computing. So it's kind of that next step in computing. It's kind of taking laptop hardware and sort of, you know, maybe pushing it a little bit more and putting it into a sort of a desktop form factor, um, but giving you a lot of I.O. in a very, very small form factor. So um, this is sort of part one of part two of this video. We're going to be doing just a bit of an overview and covering the specs of this particular unit. Um, and then in part two, we're going to be going through and looking at the gaming um, side of things and what sort of performance that you can get because this is really designed for gaming and VR and all those kind of things. So um, if you like this video, chuck it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you do get the notification for part two. Um, and let's begin this video. All right, so before we go into, like I said, the gaming and performance, I'll be in a second part. Um, we'll go through and we'll cover some of the specs and the I.O and how much this device actually costs. So the Nook um, that I'll be reviewing is the Nook kit. It's the NUC817HVK. Um, so this Nook comes with the Intel 8809G CPU and Radeon Vega graphics. So pretty awesome to see Intel and AMD working together on making this product possible. Um, Nooks have been around for a while now, but I guess there's probably still not in the mainstream. A lot of people don't really know about them. Um, they're definitely not devices that you will find in your, you know, most common retailers. Um, at least that's what I found in my experience. But these devices are aimed at those of you who need a very, very small computer um, that has low power, high performance, and the ability to do a lot of things as far as input, what you can plug in and what you can um, connect to it. So. I'll quickly just go through the specs of this particular device from the Intel page. Um, when you get a Nook, most of the time it comes as a kit. So the CPU and the graphics is sort of soldered onto the motherboard. You can't really change those. It comes pre-configured. Um, but what you can add to it is the RAM and the SSD storage or what type of hard drive storage you want to put into it. So a lot of these have the option of uh, adding in two sewed in memory slots. So they're the small little laptop memory chips and normally one um, M.2 class SSD. So they're the small, um, they almost look like a stick of gum. They're really, really small SSDs that you can put into these things. So potentially, um, like for this model, you can go up to 32 gigs of RAM. Um, and then with the M.2 class SSD, I guess you could just put in whatever the biggest M.2 class SSD is out there. You could put one terabyte in there, you could put a two terabyte. Um, but most commonly, you'll probably find these with 256 or 512 gigabyte storage. You can sometimes buy them pre-configured, but depending on what your needs are, you know, you might find it that you only want to put maybe an eight gig of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, depending on, like I said, what your needs are. Um, this particular model that I'll be reviewing has 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM at 3200 megahertz. It's got a 512 gigabyte Intel M.2 SSD. Um, and then if we keep going down, we're looking at the port. So number of USB ports on this thing is technically 13 as the Thunderbolt ports act as USB 3.1 ports as well. Um, you've got USB 2, USB 3, USB 3.1 Gen 2. You've got, uh, if we look at the SATA ports internally, there's two SATA ports. We've got 7.1 surround sound. We've got Intel wireless AC plus Bluetooth 4.2. Um, we've got an infrared sensor. We've got on here, what else do we have? Um, it does support RAID, so you can actually put in two M.2 um, SSDs if you wanted to. You've got two gigabit LANs, um, you've got Bluetooth, like I said, and you've got two Thunderbolt 3 ports as well. So there's absolutely tons and tons of spec um, for this little unit. Um, obviously, because it's an Intel device, it comes with things like Intel vPro, um, Intel virtualization technology. Um, it's got the rapid storage technology in there as well. So for people that might be wanting to integrate this into business or enterprise, obviously it comes with all of those platform Intel technologies that you know and expect. So 
even though it might be aimed at, um, I guess, the professional or the gamer, um, it can also be integrated into your business. So if you're wanting to do, for example, um, signage, that's an application where you might have four or five um, big monitors connected to one small device for presenting a menu or a slideshow in a business um, or in a retail space, this could be the device that could help you out. Um, as far as the power output, it's a 100 watt um, TDP, so that's the output of power for this particular unit. There is an external power brick to power it. Um, and the warranty is actually something that surprised me. It's got a three year warranty on this device. So for something that is really, really small, doesn't produce a lot of energy compared to like big gaming desktop computers. Um, like this is an iPhone 10 for a size comparison. Obviously I'm holding this in the palm of my hand as well. So it's probably only about a kilo or a kilo and a half. It's not that heavy. Um, quite amazing what technology you can get in this particular device. There are scaled down versions of this as well. So if you're wanting to save a bit of money, you could go down a step or two in the CPU or the GPU, um, entirely up to you. The particular one that you know, if you wanted to pick this up as a kit, um, a local tech retailer in Sydney called M-Wave sells this one for $13.49 Australian. That's without the RAM and without the SSD, that's purely just the kit and then you have to add on, you know, your, your RAM and hard drive and obviously your operating system as well. Um, if you wanted to get it in a bundle, um, you could potentially buy it for, you know, let's have a look here. I think that's the wrong particular page, but I think this particular model goes for around about $1,700 or $1,800 once you add in those components as well. So, like I said, part one of part two. Um, if you like this video, like I said, chuck it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Um, but in part two, we're gonna be talking about the gaming performance. We're gonna be benchmarking some games, seeing what um, resolutions this thing can actually run games at, at over 60 frames per second. We're testing at games like Battle, uh, sorry, Apex Legends, uh, Fortnite, and Players Unknown Battlegrounds. Um, maybe check on Tomb Raider or a few other games as well. So stick around for part two. Um, but thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.